Welcome back subscribers and to those who are new to the channel. Um, thank you for coming. This is Ghost of the Machine, the most underrated channel on YouTube. <laughs> At least in my own opinion now. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the 2020 election, Maximum Chaos. Now this channel is for intellectuals or really more people with the spirit of discernment to be able to see things as they are through the fog um so i want to be analyzing this election now we know with the election of uh donald j trump he was sort of the catalyst to bring in this chaos right and i mean he's a perfect guy to do it you know we presidents aren't elected they're selected you know so this guy he's been known by these um coastal elites and you know these world domination peoples you know whoever you want to call them um money men for a long time so you know when they have agenda they're gonna basically kick back and say okay well who 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 do we know that could uh push this forward so he has done his job brilliantly and like with anybody that they select um if you start to go off script and you start to go astray hey man you know they might have to reel you back in and i think that's what's what's going to happen in this instance but he definitely did his job to, uh the last four years and it ain't over yet so without further ado for a moment let's let's just say that we really had a choice in the election or, or let's see kind of the way that i think that they're gonna uh, allow this to play out for the purpose of maximum chaos. Now, let's be clear about something. You have Neocon Don, right? Neocon Don and um, Corporate Joe, you know, status quo Joe, you know, they're both military industrial complex. They're both Zionist. They are two, uh, the, the two parties, as, as many know, are two wings of one bird you know so the agenda is set in stone it's just how are they going to get there okay so let's start out with now donald trump i i travel around a lot now he has a lot of support especially in the rural areas and what have you and his support is real and he's appealed to the uh you know white nationalist old school americana dixie crat types you know what i mean um and donald trump is basically he represents america and i believe that america's gotta go and this is this is i believe that the elite um america is a hindrance to them being able uh, to proceed with their ultimate agenda and it is also going to be um a starting point for their agenda so all right so let's see the the trump states and there's no enthusiasm for joe but there's a lot of hatred for donald trump myself included i can't stand the motherfucker you know um but i know he is just a tool he is just uh he's a rook you know he only got two moves and and he's doing them so let's take a look at the obvious um uh, states where donald is most likely gonna get or where they're gonna allow him to pull off so let's see let's go Democrats obviously they got the entire West Coast plus Las Vegas they got Colorado New Mexico guaranteed I'd say Illinois Minnesota for sure New York New Jersey Connecticut pretty much all these areas i'm gonna go ahead and say these are gonna go to the uh corporate democrats uh virginia uh let's say they even get these up here barely let's throw iowa to him utah to him i think these are the ones up at play that are right there um, actually, no, I think Maine is like Democratic or whatever. I can't even click on that little. Okay. All right, so what are we looking at? 270 to win. 
right there, Democrats are already doing good, regardless of all the rural support. Um, so this is how I think they're going to play it out. This is this is how I think they're, they're going to play it out for maximum chaos. Now, if you want maximum chaos, what do you want to do? You know that there's a huge um, and enthusiastic white population out there that are enthusiastic about Trump. OK, he's a piece of shit. And that says a lot about them. But let's just let's take it for what it is. Right. Um, they're enthusiastic about them. So you're going to want to upset that population. Who's going to kick shit off if it doesn't go their way? I believe it's them. You know what I mean? So I think that they're going to, they want uh, status quo Joe uh, in the driver's seat now so that they can kick off um, more divisiveness. As if Donald Trump hasn't already brought enough divisiveness, they're going to go ahead and go for a little bit more. And I think that's the route that they would want to take, right? So... In order to do that, now you might say, oh, it's not going to be clear, cut, and dry. What I think is they're going to give it to, to Joe, right? They're going to go ahead and give it to Joe, and then there's going to be something in the courts, and then Donald Trump's going to uh, reverse one of these states. I'm not sure which one it may be. I have some, you know, I'm going to speculate a little bit. I I think I may know how they might run it, but I don't know for sure, but uh I think that's exactly what they're go going to do. And then, so you're already going to have chaos when Donald Trump doesn't get it. Because, you know, people are stuck in their echo chambers. You got these right-wingers who are in their Facebook groups. Their thoughts are never challenged. So they think, oh, it's going to be a 2020 landslide. That really isn't the case. You know, metropolitan areas carry a huge weight. That's where the majority of the, the population in America is. These are where, you know, your co-workers... Are, are di from all different backgrounds and that's why I think it is more progressive because in these other places they only know what they see on TV or what they're told these aren't their neighbors these aren't their co-workers so it, it, it becomes to be in a lot progressive environment when you get into the suburbs or you can get into the metropolitan areas and what have you but I definitely think they're going to give it to Joe Biden with a huge victory and then Trump's going to challenge it knowing his how he is he's going to challenge it and in the meantime, between um, the the MAGA cult lo absolutely losing their shit, I'd say in the months of November, December, January, violence out in the street with guns, you know, this and that, um, they're going to hand it over to him. And then it's gonna, the roles are going to reverse for a while. People aren't going to have faith in their democracy. This is all by design. You know what I mean? See, because... They, they want it to be nothing but chaos. That way the uh, international bankers and their goons can come in to say, hey, you know, we don't want America to, you know, go the way that all these other places are. And they might even want to do a regime change because they've set a precedent of, you know, dictators and all these people. Hey, you don't respect the people's election. They've set a precedent for, um, you know, we got to remove you. So just mass chaos that would make the most sense to me if, if that's what they want to do is maximum chaos you have you know three months of just chaos from the right-wing extremists they no longer believe in the process um and then they go ahead and and because of all that pressure um then then you lose the the confidence in the court system and the supreme court and they they give it to, over to trump and then you got the other side mad and then you have uh trump basically like fucking any other person who stay, stays uh, regardless of the will of the people, right? So then you start to bring in the UN and then you have skirmishes here and there. I, I, I would say like a soft civil war uh, would start to brew. It's already been brewing, but you know, that's what I think. So let's go ahead and let's say the Republicans take um, let's give them Ohio let's give them North Carolina Fuck it, we'll give them Georgia. It'll be real close in Florida. Let's say we just we even give them fucking Florida. You know what I mean? Um, let's let's say I think it's a possibility Texas could be the the state. It's I think Texas and Arizona could definitely go blue. I mean, the amount of Hispanic population that's there it's booming. It's about equal in Texas of of the ratio of uh, whites and Hispanics. It's about thirty something percent in Arizona. Uh, a lot of youth registering to vote. I definitely think that those states are definitely, uh, you know, 
becoming socially more uh, liberal, socially, that is. Um, I don't know how they're going to play it. If it was a, a blue wave scenario where they just wanted him out of there, they done with him, then, you know, that's that's what you're going to see. But I don't think that's what they're going to go for. They're going to go for something real close and something with a big upset. Let's say like Texas. Let's say he gets Pennsylvania and Arizona um, and, and Texas. He It just, because it goes to... Um, the Democrats, it would be just a huge upset, and then they would be over there in the court in Texas. You know what I mean? Or let's say it was a, uh, you know, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, it would work kind of the same way. But I, I don't know why. I, I think possibly Texas, um, maybe even Arizona. But I think that's what they're going for. Uh, I mean, it could be like a total blue wave and it's just it's looking something like that or but I think I, they want it to be real close to where it's it's dependent on one state, uh, you know, either uh, Texas, Arizona, Florida, Pennsylvania, you know what I mean? And then they overturn it and then um, they achieve their goal, which is maximum chaos. Uh, I'll expand more. We'll see how true that holds up. But let me put my map. Let me see my pr my prediction. My final map prediction. Uh, let's see. I'll go. If it's a total blue wave, I think this is possible. People probably don't think it's possible, but I think it would look something like that, um, which would be a blow to the MAGA cult but realistically I think they'll want it to come down to one state and we might be looking at a map that looks like that or uh, fuck it let's let's make it real competitive I think all the Rust Belt states he's been doing nothing but uh you know, appealing to white folks, and that's it. That's his base, just white folks. So, I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility that, uh, you know, playing on their fears, if you know, of, of, you know, losing power, even though you got 200 million deep, I mean, that could go over pretty well in those states. So, even so, you get Texas, man, it's, it's a done deal. Um, so, I think that just might be, that might be the game changer right there. So, I'll say this would be my final map. I'm going to say this will be my prediction on how it goes down. But then guess what? Um, come January, February, whatever, the court's going to overturn it and they'll give it back. And then all hell will break loose. Um, or could be Arizona too, but fuck it. I'll just say Texas. So that's my prediction. Um, shit, comment below. Tell me what you think. Um, ultimately, I want you guys to realize that they want to roll out this motherfucking weirdo uh bill gates technological what was it called microchip type vaccine um the covid19 is all just to bring in a certificate of identification to track and trace your every goddamn move that's the ultimate agenda it's about who is able to deliver on that and i think that donald trump he's been going off script a little bit and feeling himself a little bit too much and that's why they they might have to he can still serve a purpose by reaping chaos after he loses but i think ultimately they're going to take him out i think that they will after they give it back to him then they will either remove him or you know take him out take him out you know what i'm saying like and if they do that you know if he gets one to the dome uh, and then the Democrats come back in office, it's going to be definitely civil war. And then that's when you have the United Nations uh, so-called peacekeeping troops. And we can't let America go down that way. We need to come in there and do this and that. And then um, also we need to stop them from spreading the fake virus everywhere to the world. There's a lot at play. I don't want to spend more than 15 minutes on this. Um, this was just kind of a fun thing to uh, see how the powers that be are going to pull these strings and um how they gonna be f fucking with people this election day i didn't even go i didn't even hit up alaska my bad alaska sorry about that and hawaii my bad y'all alaska and hawaii matter too
all right so with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here um i'm always working i wish i could make more videos but i work like 15 16 hours a day but i will definitely try to come back see how this uh prediction goes y'all have a great week man uh shit good luck all there i hope you suited and booted and uh got some uh firearms and shit like that shit finna get funky out here all right love